Hey everyone, happy Halloween. It is not Halloween, Matthew. <laughs> I just tricked so many people, dude. Oh, they're like, they're like what no, the fuck? it's October already? That's crazy. It's just, it, it's Christmas though. Yep. Which Merry is Christmas, even everyone. more exciting. So this is our holiday episode. And today, hold up one second. Hold up, wait one second. I just realized something, man. Interesting Christmas facts. Christmas is an annual festival commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ. Woo! Primarily on December 25th as a religious and cultural celebration by billions of people around the world. Wait, primarily? December 20th. That means there are people that do Christmas on not December Christmas 25th. Eve. <laughs> okay, cool. cool. The Eve of Christmas. You know what? I Christmas is so is so big, it gets its own holiday the day before. That's to actually, celebrate just the excitement of Christmas. That I know. Same with a uh, fucking uh, Fourth of July this year, man. There, you know, it was on a Sunday, and then Monday the fifth, people all had off work. Yep, because it was it was the observation of Independence Day. And a week before, and like a week before the fourth, fireworks were going off every day, at random times. I scared the shit out of me, honestly. Like then they all got it out on the fourth, and then a few slipped out on the fifth, and continue to slip out every now and then in my neighbor. Well, my neighbor, I, I've always heard kind of like around summertime, it, I people, hear more. Yeah, people just get their hands on some illegal fireworks, and you got to shoot those off. You know what's funny is uh, get people used to fireworks. They're not get, they're, then they're going to get used to gunshots, and they won't tell the difference. That was a conspiracy theory. Because remember during COVID, during the protests, there were nonstop fireworks random, like yeah, yeah, all the yeah, time, yeah. and just it was like big, they're prepping for the civil war. They're getting used to gunshots. I on the Fourth of July at nighttime on the city on like the on the app that I use like to see around LA like what's going on like what kind of incidents are taking place. It was just nonstop like shot shots fired or shots heard at blank blank address shots heard. It's like it's the Fourth of July. They're not shot. <laughs> yeah. There was like fifty alerts of like shots reported. Maybe a lot of crime is happening under the guise of the fireworks. That is a good time to shoot someone. Is the Fourth of July yeah. because if you go out like you don't need to hide the sound. You can go you can go somewhere and shoot someone and no one's gonna be like, was that a gun? Well, I guess clearly a lot of people did think that, but yeah, it's Fourth of July, dude. Like that's the time to shoot someone. That or New Year's Eve. Shoot them right when the clock hits and boop boop boop. Or on the or on the birthday, so they stay young. Mm, okay, that's a Paul Walker impression that I'm working on. It's pretty good. Cuh, you should shave your head and look what like it, what it do. Cuh, Paul Walker. He's he's a hard accent to get down. Have you ever thought about imitating more of his lifestyle? Paul Walker. Yeah. Hmm. No, nothing really interests me except for maybe going fast. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying, man. He's in those Fast and Furious movies. He is. He's Fast and Furious in those movies. Did you have you seen F9? Nope. I don't think I want to, Matt. I haven't seen any of them. Doesn't have Paul Walker in it. Hmm. I actually, I doesn't he like CGI have a cameo or something? Hey, spoilers, and it's still not him. It's still like his brother acting, like them putting his face on his brother or something. Really? Shit. I don't know. You probably don't even see his face. It's probably, it's probably like, as it's like, hey, we got one more guest. The door opens, everyone turns, and you don't see who it is. <gasps> That's probably what it is. Yep, I'm back. And it's uh, it's, it's Paul. and it's making people money. Yeah, it is, man. Those we were a family. The like fuck? those memes are big now. They are, man. Well, they sorry, they're big. As we're recording this podcast, we're also recording this podcast on July 6th. Recorded two podcasts in one day, on baby. On December 5th. The December 25th, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, there's Christmas it in is July. Christmas. <laughs> that is true. I, 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 well, I remember one time I turned on the radio in like July and it's heard Christmas music playing. I was like, what the hell? And they're like, it's Christmas in July. Do, 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 do. I was like, what? I don't want to listen to Christmas music in July. Like, I changed the station. It feels wrong, you know? It's like putting on wet underwear. It doesn't feel right. Maybe if you put have them on long enough, you'll get used to it. So like maybe if I have the, maybe if I have the uh, Christmas music long on long enough, I'll get used to it. But it's like, man, I just I was not a fan. Yeah, that's nuts. I can't see you. You're blocking your face with your knee. <laughs> I know. I know. I you need eye you contact. Can't make eye this. contact. I, I saw you trying to peek over at one point. I was trying, man. I was trying to peek my little face over there. 
seen any good movies lately? I watched Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny last it's night. Good movie. It's great. I haven't seen it in so long. The ending's great. Yeah, it's fantastic. I I didn't realize when some they of the, get in the rock off with the devil. Oh yeah, that's that's such a fucking good. I love I love Jack Black, dude. Did you see his penis and his wet tidy whities in that one scene? They're not wet. Sorry, whatever. But yes, when he, <laughs> they, when I he mean, does the cock, he uses his cock to d- disarm the lasers. Yeah, Jack Black's such a good actor. Like he has so much energy. <laughs> like it's crazy how much like. Do you think he's? Do you think Coke was a popular thing in Jack Black's world? I was wondering that just because I was watching. I was like, how does he fucking have that level of energy for every take? Have you seen him on TikTok? I know we mention this every time we bring up Black Jack. <laughs> Black, <laughs> Black Jack. Black Jack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I haven't seen his TikToks. Jablinski? Yeah, Jablinski Games. Man, I dude, I want to like that's that's my that's my dream collab. Check out Jablinski Games. My dream collab is to do what's, just something with Jack Black. What's Jablin? What's JB up to? No, come on, finish it. What's Jablin? Jables. Oh, I I haven't. I have, you know. Jablinski. He Get a hand- new name. He handles uh, paparazzi really well. He'll like run away from them but make it funny. Hello there. What's he doing, dude? What's he doing? Is that two Jack Blacks? Hello there. Yeah. And then What? He has an amazing voice. What? Did this just take me to some other website? Blackjack.com. What is this? Look at this. I click on this video in videos and uploads. It takes me to this fucking thing. No, it's a YouTube short. That's their own version of TikTok they're doing. Dude, YouTube, YouTube could, I don't know. That's, think, that's what the, that's what the algorithm's grabbing right now. We should, we should upload some, dude. We uploaded one, uh, Ryan, or milk.mp4 or whatever. We did? Didn't we upload that? No, no, that wasn't a short. I mean, it technically is. No, it. Shorts are a separate oh, type of upload, what? like like a TikTok style. But upload. they show up in your regular video uploads feed. Mm-hmm. That's weird. Man, Man the times, times is changing. They are changing. Times is changing for those super mega boys. Looks like it's about time we, uh, you know, dude, <sighs> been doing this five years. I think maybe it's time that we, we, you know, bow down and let the new generation of of creators, you know, step into the scene. Matt, the I new am- TikTokers. To take over. People don't want us anymore, dude. They, they don't want our style of comedy. They don't want two fucking 20-something-year-old assholes complaining about shit on a podcast. What's wrong? You look sad. What's on your phone that's so sad? I just, uh... I was wondering if you could answer this this person's question. Sure. Okay, hold up. Let me get it, let me get it all ready, okay? I'm always down to answer any questions. Or if you could give them some advice. Okay. Okay, so let me get back up to it because I was just making sure they're, you know, okay. They say, me and my crew had a Reaper emissary raised, so sailing around looking for loot, doing a voyage, and when possible, taking a risk at fighting another crew at their treasure, we suck at PvP. We had just done part of our voyage and we were set to leave. However, we noticed a brigantine sat anchored for quite a long time near the edge of the map. Curious, we decided to sail over to see what loot they had. We also had one powder keg, so sinking was definitely a suggestion. Mm. As we got closer, it seemed no one was on board, and yet their ship had a lot. I set down the powder keg and searched the ship while my crew repositioned to come back for the loot while under the deck I noticed they were doing a tail, the sunken pearl. Part of me was keen to explode the ship, mainly because we had just killed and we had just been killed and sunk ourselves, so I was looking to take my anger out on someone less fortunate. Having not yet done this tale, I assume part of this tale has the crew venture somewhere else, so instead of sinking them and being a dick when there's no one to defend their ship, I told my crew we would steal their loot and I would, ha- I would leave the powder keg on top of their wheel to let them know someone had boarded them, but let their ship continue to be in one piece. Would be nice to hear from them, but regardless, I hope they enjoyed the tale and perhaps disappointed to find their treasure stolen, but at least reassured to know their ship was left untouched. Now, what I'm going to ask, do you think he did a no-no or do you think he was justified? 
Um, I think he's still an asshole, man. <laughs> but but that's, Why? Also, that's, that, that's also the name it's, of the game. It's, it's it's not called Sea of Friends. Sea of Thieves. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I think I think I think it was actually pretty nice that he didn't blow it up and just took their loot. Yeah. Let's write a pirate story, dude. <laughs> okay. Word by word. Arg. Matey. Oh, Avast. Land. Ho. I am a pirate. Who does piracy a lot. <laughs> Here me is. <laughs> Here me is. <laughs> Where is my super <laughs> oh man, that's a good ass pirate story. That's a that's a that's a full ass kids book right there. That was a good pirate story, dude. I'll start with a sentence and then we can go off. <laughs> One day on the open seas, I was one one word. That's that's just the beginning. I was sailing my ship on water very well. <laughs> Suddenly, big whale <laughs> emerge and bite me <laughs> hard. Ouch! I screamed. Ouch! I screamed again. <laughs> As the pain shot up my penis. <laughs> Ouch! I yelled again when whale went away and pain went felt <laughs> pain went felt he still felt the pain <laughs> anyways <laughs> tired me sleep now it's a beautiful story. Because <laughs> it's like, did he just get tired and go to bed after a long thing? Or was he losing blood because of you, you don't bites? know. It's like, it's like it, you, you have to decide for yourself. What tired me sleep is. now does sound like you're dying. Yeah. But he also was speaking pirate. And they didn't know full, they didn't know how to complete full sentences as well. That's as true. We they, were, just they, they weren't very uh, educated. They didn't have <laughs> much education. They, they grew up on the high seas, just pillaging and, and looting and and R wording things, you know? So mm -hmm. it's like pirates be crazy, man. Can we do another story and I'll start with a sentence? Yeah, let's do it. Matt had just recently been arrested for sexually harassing a woman at his work <laughs> place. <laughs> he offered her this is compensation. <laughs> All right, let's go with it then. Okay. He offered her compensation. <laughs> the End. <laughs> That's the best one yet. You can put the three of these into a pirate children's book collection. <laughs> you can sell that as a book, dude. Oh, dude. Put that one on Amazon Books for free so children yeah, can read it's it. It's going to be a great book. The Great Book of Pirates. <laughs> it has pop-up pictures. And the, the last one is like me getting put into a police car. <laughs> like you're, a woman you're giving going like, like in and out. And like a woman giving her statement to the police. <laughs> <laughs> and then like me with a lawyer. <laughs> like in a suit in court. Like give, you're giving a settlement. <laughs> the end. It's like a lone jail cell. <laughs> my, he my head in my hand. It's like I'm bobbing my head up, up and down crying. <laughs> or. Yeah. Or I, I could be, you know. Bobbing my head up and down off someone's belt buckle in prison. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
like in Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay, they were about to have yeah, a cock, cock meat sandwich. sandwich. Love that movie, man. Actually, the belt buckle thing. They put their mouths close to that cock meat sandwich. I think they put their mouths on that. Did, they, did not? they put it on it? I thought they put it like really near. Maybe Harold got his tongue on it a little. I could see Harold getting his tongue on that thing, you know? Mm. Her- I mean, Harold always struck me more as the one that would be willing to put it. Put a co- I do, I'm, that movie, I remember I watched at my friend's house when I was like 14 on DVD. And it was the <laughs> uncensored version. No way. And it shows Boobies. vagina. Vagina. Yeah. She has like Spread? her pubes dyed to be like a design, and I was like, "Whoa!" It's the first time was I ever it saw it. like the was it like dyed like the American flag? Yep, it was or something like it that. was the American flag. Because Neil Patrick Harris, the crazy some bitch in those movies, goes on a bender. <laughs> He's wild, man. Can't stop that Neil Patrick Harris. It was. It, I mean, that movie was legend. Wait for it. Dairy. Yep. It is, it is a good movie. <laughs> it's a great ass movie, man. <laughs> really good. Yeah, it's great. Dude, boy, stop, dude. You <laughs> just smash the candle with your foot. Like bleeding. Broken everywhere. glass. God, sick of that shit. The Hennessy is actually more than no, it's it's about half gone. Who drank it? Odds are I, t- I, I take a sip out of the Hennessy bottle. Huh. Three. Three, two, one, Three. two. Mm, no Hennessy for Odds you. Odds are I have to take a sip out of the Hennessy bottle. Three. Three, two, one, three. Two. <sighs> okay. Odds are I have to take a sip out of the Hennessy bottle. Three. Three, two, one, one. one. Oh, oh, damn, dude. Take a sip. Oh, man. You have to take I a didn't want to do this. I'm sorry, man. Oh. Oh. Smells good, yeah? Cool. Last person to take a sip was Justin. His first sip of liquor was Hennessy. How's it taste? Gets a good burn, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Ooh. Some good cognac. If there's anything I love, it's just that. That's very pirate sounding. Yeah. Like, uh, you're about to have some rum on the open seas. I've got a jar of rum. The rum. Guess what's inside? I can feel it corrupting my innards. I do love that feeling of, uh, like, the, the hot warmth going down your chest. It is warm. Yeah. I think that's why Russians drink so much. That's why they drink out in the ice and go out there in their Speedos and slip around with each other. Well, I mean, if you're drunk Butter enough, themselves up. That's not going to feel that cold if you're super drunk. <clears throat> even though alcohol lowers your body temperature. Do you know that? So technically, you're even more cold. You just I always feel it. a lot more warm when I drink, though, so that's weird. Maybe it's yeah. like your body is heating up, and that's probably why. Well, your body temperature is lower when well, you drink. Well, it's lower, but then your body in response is trying to heat itself up, so that's maybe why you feel hot, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. Alcohol does a lot to your system. A lot. That I didn't even know it did to your system. It's poison. I would never put that poison in my body. Ethanol. It's just pure ethanol. So I stopped drinking. I switched over to methanol. No, no. It's good to have. I heard it's good to have a, a handle at least once a month. I heard in the morning. Once a week. In the morning. A handle, a handle in the morning. The best part of waking up is vodka in your cup. <laughs> or I, I don't even use the cup. Just the bottles. Hey, will, you, will you do me a favor, man? <laughs> Yeah, what's up? Um, Will I do you a favor? Is it let you get a snack while <coughs> get some more ads in here? What's something you wear that you can't see but can make or break your day? Well, if you guessed underwear, then you probably have a lot of good days. Seriously, there's a reason your underwear is the first thing you put on. MeUndies believes you should be comfortable at your core. That's why they make the softest undies and fun prints, so you can wake up every morning excited to put on your favorite pair. I mean, I just have a collection of MeUndies at this point. I love wearing all their stuff, their, their, their lounge wear, mostly their underwear. It's, 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 it's the most comfortable underwear I've ever worn. I'm almost feeling like I should get some sort of membership. I don't know. What? There's a MeUndies membership? Never run out of MeUndies or worry about skipping laundry again with the MeUndies membership. Each month, replenish your basics and build your collection with styles that are anything but basic. Styles that let you be the truest version of yourself, right down to your core. And no pressure, you can always skip a month if you want. Plus, enjoy discounted pricing, controlled shipping, and exclusive early access. Love your butt and get that membership. 
MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners for any first-time purchasers. MeUndies also has their problem-free philosophy. If you're not satisfied with any product for any reason, they'll refund or exchange it. No caveats, no questions. So to get 15% off your first order and free shipping, go to MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. That's MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. Hey kids, it's time to hear about Mint Mobile. After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a dang freaking catch. So when I first heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless service starting at just 15 smackaroonies a month, I thought, okay, what the F is the catch? But after speaking with them and using their service, it all made sense. There isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless service online only. By cutting out retail stores, there's no crazy overhead cost that gets passed down to you in the form of mystery fees. Instead, Mint just passes on sweet savings direct to you. Mint sent me a SIM card for a Mint Mobile wireless plan, and guess what? The service is the exact same as the nation's best 5G. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. And you get to keep your own phone and contacts uh, when you use Mint Mobile. And if you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their seven-day money-back guarantee. So switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash supermega. That's mintmobile.com slash supermega. Cut your wireless bill from like 100 bucks a month to 15 at mintmobile.com slash supermega. Is Folgers good? Um, I mean, it's just coffee. It's just basic coffee. How about Folgers versus Maxwell House? Um, I like, I do like fucking, uh, is that what it's called? Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think I've, cause there's the red container and then the blue, the, the blue container, Matt and Ryan from super mega. <laughs> I don't think I, I do like, I don't, I don't like it. It's Folgers is just like an easy quick cheap coffee and i don't i don't dislike folgers maxwell house i don't know if i've ever remembered having now let's throw in some starbucks what do you what do you think is better now starbucks coffee itself i'm not a big fan of starbucks like hot we're 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 moving we're moving starbucks hot coffee i think they were we're talking about like if you got it from the store the grant the grounds have you had it yeah well it depends on what what i'm I think Starbucks roast the beans a little I'm, too I'm talking hard. about like each one of these is just your average cup of Joe that yeah. Matt would pour himself. I get full. I get Folger still. So, okay. Get, okay. Now because let's, Starbucks let's, roast the beans too hard. Okay. They're cold brews. I do like their 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 nitro. Now let's introduce Phillips. Phils. No. What's what's Phils? Phils. Yeah. Yeah. Phils. Let's introduce Phils. You still going with Folgers? Yeah. I'm gonna have an ad Phils enough to really know. You know, I can't. I can't make it. An informed decision on that. Now McDonald's coffee. McDonald's has really good the coffee. The McCafe. I'm going with McDonald's. <clears throat> I'm not okay. going to lie, dude. McDonald's has pretty good coffee. Don't they sell ground shit at grocery? Mm-hmm. No. Do they they do, yeah. Shit? They okay. have the K-Cups and everything. Oh, I've had them. I, like, I got the K-Cups once. I don't have a Keurig anymore, but I need to get a coffee maker. So More like, like the KKK cups. <laughs> the KK cup. The K. Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Because they're white and if they had a point to them, they look like little hoodsmen. That's smart. Well, hoodsmen. Hoodsmen. <laughs> There's a couple hoodsmen in the woods. <laughs> They're coming with torches. I'd, I'd, dude, I'd piss my pants if I was walking in the woods as a kid and all of a sudden I saw a few hoodsmen out there. Dude, hoodsmen, like, the KKK looks scary. Yeah. Like, the, like there's something about the point of the, like, the cloak, like, the the, the hat. Like well, the, if you remember, it used to be just, like, these fucking, like, plungers they'd put on their head. You remember, like, what they used to look like? It wasn't, like, this big ceremonial-looking thing. It was just kind of, like, a sack tied tight with, like, just a stick or whatever yeah. they could find to make it point. They they do look... The, the, I don't know what it is, but the uh, the fucking... It's scary. Like, the triangular head. It, it's very, like, alien-like. Coneheads. Yeah. Dude, that's why it scares me. It's because I'm terrified of the movie Coneheads. And when I seek the KKK, it's not the racism that scares me. It's the that resembl- reminds you of the Cone. <laughs> because any one of those of Klansmen, any one of those Hoodsmen could, could be take it off and it's, it's one of the Coneheads. And that's that's what's most scary to me. Of how, they, how the Coneheads perfectly fit in that society. Because if we saw a Conehead walking around, you know, we would, we would absolutely shun them and say, what the fuck? They'd probably be sent to a government lab. But if they're like, oh, I'm part of the KKK and they're always wearing the... What if, what if what if the KKK is just a front for coneheads to try to like try to just survive? I got a question. Maybe they're you, misunderstood, actually. you know? So how do you like your your uh moral corruptness? Do you like it 
blatant like the KKK or do you like it more insidious like Scientology? Like more in the background, like which is which is more harmful? Yeah, wh- I think it's insidious because because <clears throat> I think it's insidious more shit gets done. You know, yeah. we're like like you know, like I think you know, like passing insidious laws is easier if it's quiet than out in the open, right? Mm-hmm. But I think they're both dangerous because when it's out in the open, then people will and gravitate insidious towards is it. insidious. Is yeah. insidious. I think bad, bad is bad. Is insidious. Is insidious. Insidious is insidious. Is insidious. Insidious, 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 insidious. Insid- that, was, that was in the, I think, one of the first trailers that came out for Insidious. Oh, it was, it was always like, insidious is insidious, is insidious, is insidious. That's crazy, man. Is insidious. That's so many words. That's so many fucking, <clears throat> so many words for one trailer. <sighs> trailers that always stuck with me. Um, with the pro promethazine promethazine prometheus uh <laughs> that's cough syrup prometheus See, it's always the ones that start with a red screen instead of a green one you're like i'm gonna remember this because i remember fucking i don't uh, see too many red band trailers coming out no it's not as fun to be raunchy they don't make raunchy comedies anymore we'll show boobs at least once during this comedy role models boobs at least once well also back then like the only place you could go to like get like that kind of R-rated comedy. Super bad. Super bad was R, but didn't have any boobs. Mm-mm, I don't think so. Tropic Thunder didn't have any boobs until the director's cut, where they just added Matthew McConaughey looking through a Playboy like magazine or some shit. I was hanging out with someone last night, and I wanted to put on Tropic Thunder, and they were like, "No, what?" So we ended up watching <laughs> Tenacious D, which is still good. But I, I wanted to watch. I haven't seen Tropic Thunder in Tropic a while. Thunder's fun. It's, it's great. I like it. It's a funny comedy, man. It's got all these big actors to... I, I hate Tom Cruise, but I think it's so funny that he did that role. He, I just remember at that point in time, because like, he was just kind of known as like the actor that my mom liked, you know, that your parents liked. Cause, he's very handsome. Yeah. And he is, he, he's a good actor. He's in some of my favorite movies, like Eyes Wide Shut or Magnolia. He's great. I still want to see... Uh, oh, what's the one where he's with Jamie Foxx and he plays like a hitman with like gray hair? The hitman's bodyguard. <laughs> uh, no, the hitman's bodyguard's wife. Wife, wife of the hitman's. I've just seen. I've called. just seen so many billboards around LA for that. Uh, I saw I, the first one. I know what you're talking about. What movie you are talking about? But I don't. I don't remember, dude. What's what it a, called? Oh, uh, not Crash. Um, I know exactly what you're talking about. They're trying. They, they, they're well, in the, the taxi. marketing didn't really do a good job, did it? They're in the taxi. <laughs> yes. What's that movie it's where not, Will Smith's running from the government? It's not M Night. It's not an M Night movie, is it? The mm, what? The one with Tom Cruise and uh, J- no, that's Jeremy the, Smith. No, that's M Night Shyamalan. That was Steven Spielberg. He, he, Tom Cruise has been in an M Night Shyamalan movie. Wait, dude. Now I need to know this fucking. It's not Crash. It's not Drive. It's it's Collateral. Collateral. That's okay. it. Yeah, it's Collateral. That's right. I watched that movie like two years ago, three years ago. It's good, fun. I just want it's a fun, fun, yeah, it's fun action movie. It's intense. Where Tom Cruise plays a bad guy. It's got it's got a really good climactic scene in it. So it's a Tom Cruise plays Stone Cold Killer, huh? He does, yeah, with, with gray hair. I do think Tom Cruise is probably one of those celebrities that actually is a psychopath. You know? Yeah. The Scientology stuff. The I don't know. I don't know them. Well, I do know the man. I'm not allowed to talk about it in that. The the lawyers his lawyers said I can't mention that I just cut this out I can't the mention that I lawyers? know him. no the, his oh, lawyers got it the big ones the ones Scientology hired they I can't disclose I know him so I actually cut that out I didn't mean to do that yeah I'll cut that out I don't know him but I think that uh, if I knew him he'd probably be an asshole you know and he'd probably like just have a weird like off presence like yeah. when you're eating dinner with him like no one's talking and it's just like him going <laughs> you know every now and then. That would just be weird if that happened. Like sitting in his chambers, like <laughs> imagine it's, that just it's like crazy. he's at one end of the table and you're at the other and you're just <laughs> cutting a steak and, and he's just, <laughs> mm, good steak. <laughs> hey, it's funny that he did the movie Eyes Wide Shut because he's, he's so closely linked to Scientology. Yeah, in the movie. It's like, it's it's almost like Essentially it's, going, hey. it's like a biology, a bio, a biography. <clears throat> it's like biology. Of who? L. Ron Hubbard? 
No, it's like an autobiography of Tom Cruise. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There's um. That's a good ass movie though. What's the? There's another one that I watched. I think last year. What's the with past? Joaquin way? Phoenix and. Oh fuck. What's it? Philip Seymour Hoffman. It was kind of loosely based on Scientology. The Master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, Paul Thomas Anderson movie. Yeah, yeah, really good. Yeah, that's a that's it is a really good movie. It's not my favorite PTA movie, but. What's your favorite PTA movie? Boogie Nights. Okay. By far. Boogie Nights is one of my favorite movies. Such a such a such a good ass movie. It is. And Magnolia. Well, it's like Magnolia's amazing too. I still have to see Magnolia. You haven't seen it? No, wait, 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 wait. Well, we never mind, never mind. We? I was thinking of uh Eyes Wide Shut for some reason. Eyes Wide Shut is a fantastic movie. It's uh it's long, but it's like I had no interest in seeing it, and then the thing with the Tucker Brothers was put it on one night, and I watched it, and I was like, this movie's fucking good. It's just about, like, Illuminati stuff. It's very scary. Let me see what the last movie I saw dun, was. Dun, dun. That was Tarant- uh, not Tarant- That was uh, Kubrick's last movie, and he died, like, four days after he finished it. I think the Illuminati uh, I want to see Luca. The last movie I saw was A Quiet Place 2. <clears throat> I haven't seen anything in theaters since before COVID. I might actually, I might go see Zola this Friday. Zola. Is that what it is? Zola? Luca? No, not Luca. I want to see Luca so bad. It's a... Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, Zola. It's based off that Twitter thread. A waitress agrees to accompany an exotic dancer. The trailer looks her pretty good. Her put-upon boyfriend and her mysterious and domineering roommate on a road trip to Florida to seek their fortune at a high-end strip club. It looks really... It's based on, it's based on a Twitter thread, like a really long Twitter thread. Really? <laughs> that was really famous, yeah. The trailer looks great, though. Look at all these movies. I have no idea what... No Sudden Moves, and it has fucking... What the I don't fuck? hear about movies really anymore. Or No Sudden Move. In the Heights. Honestly, the main way I hear about movies now is seeing billboards around LA. <gasps> so, so it works. Hey, maybe uh, with them next year, you might see some billboards around your city that maybe has some familiar faces on it. <sighs> Dude, this movie looks like ass, man. What? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you the trailer and just look how uninteresting or not the trailer, the poster. Just does that look interesting to you? The Tomorrow War. Starring, I, I, starring Chris Pratt. I feel like I've seen the same movie like <laughs> ten times before. You everybody has seen this movie. Let let me I wanna see what, okay, so an ordinary family man named Dan Forrester is recruited by time travelers from thirty years in the future to fight in a deadly war against aliens. Because we're losing all of our people. We got to go back in time and grab more soldiers. That's why it's called the Tomorrow War. Yep. Why don't they just go back in time and just stay there where there's no aliens yet? Just live in a constant loop. Yeah. The like aliens a, show like, up. All right, time to go back. Like live in a nice loop of like 100 years. I think it is possible to go back in time, but I think that. Do you? I think. I, well, obviously we don't know how. I think it's. I think that it, there's a way, but I think that it. you enter like a new timeline. Like it's not going to be like the same it timeline. It branches off. Yeah. Like it's not like if like, I like in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Like if I traveled back in time right now and killed my dad, like I would. I, the I timekeepers would, would be so upset with you. They would. I'd still exist in that timeline. Like I'm not gonna shoot my dad and then I instantly disappear from existence. Just in that timeline, my history is that I came from another timeline. So my dad didn't even give birth to me in that timeline. But he still exists. My dad. Well, I kill him. Okay. So he doesn't before well, he's, now he doesn't before exist. he's able After to you killed him impregnate my mother. You know. But you still, yeah, you're right. You still would exist in that timeline. It's not like if you kill you, then you're not. Well, see, we see time. Time doesn't exist, Ryan. It's just a linear line to us. That's because that's the best way we can comprehend it. But the fourth dimension. So this, you the, can freely move through time. So that means dimension. as soon as you travel back in time, it's going to be impossible to get to the origin of that because now you're in a new stream of time and you can't like go forward or backward to the time that you came from probably. because now you're on a new branch. Or I don't know. Shit. I I think it's probably just something we can't even comprehend, like the way it, it would. Well, work. I'm sure some people could, but definitely not us, Matt. Maybe Ding Dong could. <laughs> not Julian. Mm, no, <laughs> Julian has a has the Yale degree. That is true. He's a doctor. Ding Dong went to Devry, mm. so I don't know. I I think time travels. I don't think we'll ever discover. I don't know. Maybe I think that. You, you you see to, for time travel you'd have to like be able to enter the fourth dimension, and that's how the how, our brains can't comprehend the fourth dimension, so we can't do it. We can understand what it would be, but we can't picture it unless you smoke hella DMT. 
Then you'll be taken to the fourth dimension Every- and you'll meet super beings and super mega fourth dimensional beings you'll meet while you're on DMT. Every dude, everyone says that. Everyone that smoked DMT says, I haven't smoked DMT. Yeah, but, but you know what that shit does to your brain? I got boing, a book about the science boing, of DMT. Boing, boing. It does some, it does some, you're uh, bouncing off the cuckoo banana walls, my brother. It, it makes your, uh, like your brain, so like under like a scanner, like your brain lights, like the part of your brain that lights up when it's under use, like when you, do, you scan someone's brain. Well, like, you know, like, they can see like parts of your brain lighting up when there's activity. What a photocopier! No, dude, Jesus Christ, with a big ass expensive <laughs> machine, with probably some uranium or some shit in it. Uh, when you're on like psychedelics or DMT, like your brain like lights, lights up. like all of it or like a lot of it, so you're using like a lot more. It's like the limitless. It's pill. why it's why you become so. You access 100 percent of your brain. It's why you become so open minded when you take psychedelics. Because we only use 10 percent of our brain. Well, it's so weird how much you actually don't remember of the day when you think about it. Like, your brain throws away most yes, things. Yes, I know that's a myth. Stop writing that comment. Thank <sighs> you. Well, now I'm still going to post it. <laughs> Damn it. Someone paused it after, right before you said that, just to write the comment and posted it and then went back up and you were like, stop Oh, now you're it. embarrassed. I'm going to see a lot of edited oops. Or just deleted comments. We can yep. see which comments you delete, guys. Exactly. We're God when it comes to this stuff. We see everything. We go into the fourth dimension and we can go back in time and we can see before you deleted those fucking comments because we're smoking hella DMT. Joe Rogan told me to and I did. Does Joe Rogan do DMT like often? Or is he just like, he had like a few experiences with it and then he just talked about it forever and that's where the meme came from? I think from? he has a couple. I don't think he smokes it often. I don't think it's I don't think it's good for your brain to smoke something <laughs> like DMT often. There's DMT vape pins. Oh my God, what? Yeah, there's DMT vape pins. Like you get them online illegally. Well, it's just a vape pen and then you put the DMT. Like, I mean, you could vape crack. Products. You can vape meth. Good to know. Dude, one of these days, Ryan, like, like if you start like jeweling, I'm going to just get like a little DMT jewel pod off the deep web and just switch it out one day. We're not looking. It's like, <sighs> how long does DMT last? Isn't it like, it's like 10, 15 minutes, right? Oh my God. It's that short. Yeah. You go through a but fucking, it, but it feels like forever. Well, you apparently like you enter it. If, well, you got to smoke a lot to like break through and then you break through and then it's really like 10, 15 minutes, like the peak of it. And then like you come back to earth afterwards. But I don't know. I have a lot of friends that have, that have done it and they said it was crazy. They said it was like one of the most like, transcending like crazy experiences of their life because everyone says the same thing that you go you like break through like a a tunnel and then there's like extra dimensional intelligent beings that talk to you on the other side like everyone says that i watched a harvard talk about it like a harvard do they lecture are they saying these beings are like it's just cool because your brain does this are they saying that these beings are reaching out to us when we do dmt because now we can finally see them and they're interested in conversation well who's some people believe that you know, your brain evolves over time, particle or things like DMT, which is true, open We're up smarter as we go on and things like DMT open up your brain to allow you to see beyond a little bit more. And the things on the other side have evolved to their brains be at that point. So they're already on the other side. We just can't see them with our brains. But when you smoke DMT, that's when it kind of opens your brain up and you're able like to they can te- see us. You're able to temporarily go to the other side. And so we understand these beings. Mm hmm. Telepathic. They speak English. Everyone says it's like just telepathic. They don't speak. Mm. You just understand it. Okay. I know some if, if someone, uh, Eddie Burbeck, did it and uh, was given a bunch of like four dimensional toys to play with to understand how they work. Did he bring any back? Mm. Nope. Oh, you but, can't. But, can no, you, you can't. But they said that they existed long before us and they've evolved at that point. And one day we will get there too. Aw. In a few million years. Yeah. You, have you ever heard of the stoned ape theory? This, I, this is literally like, this sounds like a Joe Rogan podcast. The stoned ape theory. It's a theory that humans evolved so quickly and so, because, you know, like nothing's even close. We did it so quickly and became intelligent like that. Some people hypothesize that it's like because uh, primates like ate psychedelics and that like expanded their minds and consciousness to be able to comprehend more. And then that like. Do you know how many videos of like dogs and stuff though that like they find who have eaten mushrooms and are just like tripping? But primates balls? already had really, really <clears throat> advanced brains. Dogs didn't. True. You well, know? I mean, I mean, yes and no. I mean, like, or it, it like accelerated the process of like, dude, we need to start giving DMT to whales. What happens if you give an animal DMT? I'm gonna look up whale. Did they do? Have we ever given DMT to whales? DMT They've given uh, whales. they gave an elephant like ten thousand tabs of acid, and it died from a heart attack. 
We should try that. So what's up, guys? Today, Super Mega's doing the 10,000 uh, tabs of acid challenge. I think psychedelics are really cool. Oh, my God. This is actual a question Joe Rogan has stated before. Have we ever tried giving whales DMT? You fucking with me? Is it really? Yeah, someone quote, like, put it in quotes, Rogan. Have we ever tried giving whales DMT? And then someone else is like, what? Whoa. I think that psychedelics should be at least decriminalized so they I, so they can be used for research for, like, therapeutic stuff. Because there's, like, so much promising stuff there for, like, PTSD and... You know, stuff like that. Like depression. Psychedelic therapy. So people do ketamine. If ketamine clinics. If apparently like that's super like, depressive. I I read, I was reading about ketamine clinics recently because I, I keep seeing the signs for them. I'm getting ads for them on Instagram. And uh, I looked, I read, and apparently. Just show us a sign. <laughs> it's one of the, uh, like, apparently highest success rates of treating PTSD and depression and shit. They had a little center, like, right near College of Charleston. I think they were, like funded through them in some I way. I mean, you can, in California, you can just go, you could just sign up and go do it. It's like a therapy session and, because I think ketamine makes your brain more like malleable so you can kind of like rewire. Give me some powder to snort, doc. They don't give you powder, they give you what? an injection. They don't give you powder anymore? No, if they, if they give you an injection it, then they can prescribe it and then give you if, some powder. If they prescribe it, it's like a nasal spray. Yeah, it is. So. Ding, ding, ding. <sighs> a ketamine inhaler, man. Let me get that K. Let me enter that K hole, bro. Can I just eat it? Mm. People, Sprinkle it on a donut. I doubt that would taste very good. <laughs> well, the donut already has sugar and cinnamon on it. Academy is very bitter. So maybe it'll balance out to make a very neutral, neutral flavor. You can't taste donut. anything. Neutral donut hotel. Like the band. Ha. You love Neutral Milk Hotel, right? What? <laughs> Who? Neutral Milk Hotel? The fuck is that? <laughs> You just pissed off all of 4chan's music board, Ryan. Oh. Jesus Christ. Have you ever listened to in 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 in, in the aeroplane over the sea? Nope. Neither have I. It's one it's one of those bands and albums that's like highly revered. And it's like, yeah, I know music. It's, I mean it's a good, it's a good, it's a good band, good album, but it's like uh Yeah, have they ever heard of the Beatles? Probably not, dude. Or Aerosmith? I want to go on. Try listening to some Kiss and then tell me about music. Jackass. Ryan, can you go on the 4chan music board and just post like a thing of Kiss and it's like Kiss is the best band <laughs> in all of music history. Like, go try listening to some Kiss, jackass. Would they be upset? Yeah. What if I just people said people would start a fight with you? What if I just said Kiss is better than the aeroplanes, whatever it's called? <laughs> That'd be like just like a picture with like Kiss and then like the greater than sign Neutral Milk Hotel, and you're gonna piss off a lot of people. <laughs> Or like, just kiss over like most bands. And like, I, can I title the post, Don't Shoot the Messenger? <laughs> <laughs> or like, kiss over, uh, put like, kiss over the Beatles. <laughs> I really do like That's the Beatles. a weird comparison. I know, because they're not even like, <laughs> they're in not the even same in the same wheelhouse. I mean, I guess they're both boy bands. Yeah. They're both rock bands, technically. Uh, yeah, that's a that's something that like rock stars did because they're homophobic, didn't want to be called boy bands. They're still boy bands. They're rock bands, right? They're not boy bands. Unless there was a girl in there, it's a boy band. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You know what band? I'm... Okay, then uh, One Direction's a rock band. They don't make rock. They rock out. They're a pop, group. but they're rocking out. Rocking out is a vibe. No, it's not. It's a, it's genre, a state it's a type, of being. It's a type of music. It's a state of being. Rock and roll, maybe. It's in the fourth dimension. <laughs> you that, only, that, that's where you experience true rock. You can only experience true rock and roll if you enter the fourth dimension, um, which very few of us have compared to the amount of people that have been alive on this. But planet. if you experience rock and roll while you're in the fourth dimension, it's something else because you can you can feel and taste the music too. You can smell it. You can. I want to look see up like it. interesting life stats, like just just things, just interesting little tidbits about. Follow Uberfax on Twitter. I used to, and then they started, I, I think they posted like two non-facts in a row. Yeah, I, I actually, like, mm. I think I follow them right now. I, actually, I used to follow them, and then they posted no non-facts. Because some people would start to call them out in the comments and go, um, actually, that's not right. Yeah, some of the stuff Uberfax posts, I'm like, is that true? Or is it just like a... Dude, I remember all... Like, that's when I think Twitter was the most fun, when you were just following, like, like a bunch of gimmick accounts, and you would create little gimmick accounts, too. 
Yeah. But I guess people still do that a lot. It's just we don't. Why well, I have a gimmick uh, K-pop stan account. <laughs> Where I, 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 I've gone undercover into the BTS fan. Have you? They have no idea that it's me. I have, I have a, you know. You've infiltrated I have, their, I have Jimin as my, their legion. I have Jimin as my uh, picture. Are you a sleeper cell? I'm a sleeper. For, for, for canceling There's Jimin. thousands of us, dude. Just ready to cancel Jimin once, on a moment's Once the on signal goes. Notice. Jimin, once the signal goes, <laughs> Jimin is done. Jamon. Jamon. Jamon, <laughs> Jamon is done, dude. dude. I'm telling you, dude. Jamon's a stand-up guy. Yeah, he is, because he has two legs. <laughs> He's sexy, man. Do you think Jamon has a penis? I don't think any of the K-pop stars have penises. Do you think they cut him off so that they can't truly lust after the fans and then ruin their... I don't think they're allowed to date, are they? Are, I don't know. Because I know with, like, Japanese girl groups and shit, it's like K-pop groups. Didn't it's, they... like that. it's a really bad industry. Yeah, one of like there's this K-pop girl who had to, like, apologize for being seen leaving or leaving or going to a dude's house. Yeah, it was a, it was a Japanese pop girl she was seen like going into some dude's house so she like shaved her head and made like an apology and like that's that sucks that sucks big balls dude not little balls big balls big hairy balls bro that's why they just need to wear masks J the japanese what the, the members of those groups oh like dream so no one actually knows who they are, so they can enjoy their life. Because that's what the mask is. That's that's what the that's what the point of the mask is. That's what the mask is. Every time I hear that song, I hear Damascus. Damascus. It's Syria. Dude. Eat our farts, dream. Hear some ads. Whether it's for work or play, a lot of us are going to be on the move again this summer. So my advice to you: take your Raycons with you. Whether you're on the toilet or taking a jog, a pair of Raycon wireless earbuds in your ears can make all the difference. You get crisp, powerful beats at half the price of other premium audio brands, and Raycons look great and feel even better. They come in a range of cool colors and with customizable gel tips included for a comfortable in-ear fit. And Raycons are built to go wherever you go, with quick and seamless Bluetooth pairing and a compact charging case. I love my Raycons and their 24-hour battery life and their portability. I can just take them anywhere. Planes, trains, automobiles, you name it. I'm wearing my Raycons. And listen up, Raycons offering 15% off all their products for our listeners and here's what you've got to do to get it. Go to buyraycon.com slash supermega. There, you'll get 15% off your entire Raycon order and it's such a good deal, you'll want to grab a pair and a spare. That's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash supermega. Again, buyraycon.com slash Super mega. What interferes with your happiness? Not having cheese. Well, that is something that can definitely interfere with your happiness, Ryan. And, you know, sometimes you get the sads just for no reason. You know, it's your, your brain, you know, it just happens. And the best way to work through that is with some professional counseling, with some therapy. And that's where BetterHelp comes in. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You connect in a safe and private online environment. It's super convenient. You can start communicating in just under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online. You can send a message to your counselor anytime and you'll get a timely and thoughtful response. So it's it's almost like you got a little therapist in your pocket everywhere you go and you never have to sit in that cold, uncomfortable waiting room. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if you need to. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. The service is available worldwide as well and there's licensed professional counselors specialized in things like depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, sleeping, trauma, anger, family matters, not the show. Or maybe if you're so sad that it got canceled and you need to talk to someone about it, you can use BetterHelp. LGBT matters, grief, self-esteem, and it's all confidential, convenient, professional, affordable, and uh, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty swag. So the boys over at Super Mega want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at BetterHelp.com slash Super Mega. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health at BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Super Mega. <laughs> And with that, we made probably 0.01% of the <laughs> revenue that Dream uh, makes off one video. But uh, thank you for, for the, uh, the sponsors. Or one uh, pride sale. <laughs> an, an epic 10% of... Uh, <laughs> dude, the gays really earned their 10% with that one. It's awesome. Uh, let it go. Okay, buddy. Okay, Elsa. Jesus Christ. 
I still haven't seen Frozen. Really? Not missing much. Um, <laughs> not according to everyone else, Ryan. You're not. It's the well, it's the biggest movie in the world. Who cares? <laughs> <sighs> I mean, unless you care, then watch it. I don't care. I'm not putting down people who... I'm just saying I don't care for it. Why? Because I think it's boring. Why do you think it's boring? Because... <laughs> The, See, you can't give an answer. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's something's just boring to you. I'm eating a fucking Thin Mint, dude, just to prove you wrong. Watch this. I used to not mind it, and I think I watched it like a couple years ago, and I was just kind of like, mm, yeah. Nah. Oh, yeah, it was. I watched the second one, and I thought it was just awful. Okay, what? maybe not the worst. It's not like the worst fucking thing in the world, because there's so many bad things that exist, but it's like... It wasn't, I didn't think it was great. I didn't think it was anything to write home about, you know? That's you why did, I want to see Luca. I saw the letter you wrote to your parents. You Luca did write looks home like about a it. cute movie, and I want to watch it. Luca does look pretty good. Have you seen the Paddington movies, Matthew? No, I saw a billboard yesterday for Paddington 2. You should go watch the Paddington movies. They're sad, right? No. Oh, wait, Paddington 2, The right? bear, Paddington bear? Isn't that coming out? Padd Paddington 2 has been out for years. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of some rabbit movie that's oh you're out. thinking of fucking uh not uh, what's his name the 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 bodacious british talk show host james Cor. yeah he plays peter rabbit peter, peter rabbit, rabbit that's too. what it is yeah i saw a billboard for that dude james uh <laughs> dude fucking james what is his name corden james corden dude he is one of the he's legendary man I hope one day we can be on comedians in cars getting coffee. Comedians well, in cars getting ketamine. Are. He's more successful than we are. Yeah, you shove shut it. your fucking mouth. You know, you're a little just jealous. Yeah, I wish I could be in a Kamar. Dude, you can be in a Kamar. <laughs> dude, why don't we make a Kamar with a comedian? Dude, we just do comedians in cars getting ketamine, <laughs> and it's like we just start and then like with the with the IV. You definitely said like, this. I I feel like <laughs> crash the car like thirty seconds in. Have well, I said this? I think so. I feel like I tweeted this once, maybe. Maybe. Jackson might have tweeted it because I said it and he Did stole it. Did you steal it. his joke? He might have. He might have stole, st stolen my joke. He stole your joke stole or you joke. stole his he stole joke? my joke. Mm, I don't know. Well, what he doesn't know is every time he does that, I dock $100 off his pay. Which is about half of it. See, he, ne we never sent a he never sent a contract, so we're allowed to do this stuff. We don't have a set pay, you know. Mm, just throw him a, whatever, a couple bones. Yeah, as, as long as he makes rent just by enough. Just by enough. I don't want him to have any expendable income. Yeah, you don't want him to get too comfortable. Too because loose. he becomes comfortable and he's able to, you know, go out and enjoy we, a nice we, dinner with his girlfriend. Exactly. I don't want him to be able to do that. Every now and then it's good to let him, like, buy a new TV, have a nice dinner with his girlfriend. But, like, you always have a to. Couple times you, a you year. have to rein it in so that they're always needing that income. He needs to know that it's he not says, like, oh, this know. is something I can go do because of my job. It's like this is something that, like, if I work hard enough, I might get enough money to do this twice, three times a year. Exactly. Um, and my favorite part is that he, we told him he has health insurance and we gave him a fake card and he thinks he does. <laughs> just wait. Just wait. He's going to get in some horrible well, He's accident. already been a few times. And he's going to have to he go. Just, he, I, don't, I don't think he checks his mail because there's definitely been some bills that have been sent his way. Well, my, my favorite thing about the health insurance thing is uh, <laughs> on the card, we have a different address. So they're all getting sent to a different address. All the all the oh, bills and oh, shit. shit. But he, the, he's still getting charged. Oh, he just doesn't know shit. he's getting them. <laughs> and the loan collectors, like the debt collectors, they don't even know how to find them. But we, they just we, get a new number each time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Debt collectors. I got a uh, voicemail from a debt collector recently, and I was like, freaking a real out. One? And then I was like, oh wait, this is fake. Most of it's fake. Watch this. No, 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 it wasn't fake. Sorry. They called me back, and I answered, and I found that it was for the dude that used to have my phone number, who gets calls from debt collectors and fucking loan sharks all the fucking time and they're like Vardon and I'm like nope it's not Vardon they, I still get calls from Vardon years after changing my number he must have been a very popular man I, this dude, Vardon literally like loan sharks end up calling me it's like Vardon and like yell a bunch of Armenian and I'm like I no it's not Vardon and they yell like more Armenian well, I'm some like, people think a scale, like just getting rid of their number will help in moving addresses. well it worked for him because they're fucking calling me still like three years after changing well, my fucking number they're gonna need to go do some investigating and find out where Varman is it's always it's always like big debt collectors or uh it's never good it's never good calls it's always like he owes someone money and I'm like oh that's what I wonder why he changed his phone number Varman, 
Var, Varkon. Varmon the Martian. Varmon? <laughs> Vardon? There, there are times, every now and then, like maybe once or twice a year, I'll get a call from someone really angry screaming in like Armenian. And I, I'm like, I, you got wrong number. And they'll like yell and I'll hang up. Sometimes I get calls from this guy in English who just yells and then I hang up. It's your dad. Yeah, it's my dad. He's going through some shit. You really should actually listen to well, him. Well, he just stopped yelling in my ear. He's and not. I go, Ooh. He's not yelling. And then I go. Ah, too no, loud. He's not yelling at you. He's just so. He's so it's emotional. It's probably just him sobbing. Well, he, yeah. I really don't check. He's breaking down. But to, to me, you. it's just yelling. It's all the same. I mean, just, just turn just the phone down. Noise. Turn the phone down. But I like. I, I like, do get it though. That that is annoying when someone when someone like your father comes to you with their fucking emotional problems. It's like I. All right, homo. I don't. I don't want to hear that. It's stuff. like I already had to sit in your house for eighteen years while being your property. You know. Yeah. It's like go 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 I'm tell it on the mountain, now. buddy. Yeah. Don't you have a wife or something to go tell your problems to? Yeah. That's what she's for. Okay. That's not. I'm out here getting pussy in L.A. Exactly. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Multiple here to be times. Your therapist. In, multiple times a week. Mm, oh yeah. Multiple pussies. Multiple times. Sometimes a multiple week. times a day, man. <sighs> You know, I'll, I'll get some snatch and then uh, I'll get her to drop me off at my place. But it, instead of my place, it's actually another girl's house. I'm like, yes, it's my place. I'll, I'll call Dude, you I'll never. I'll start chowing down on some fucking pumpkin pie, if you know what Walk I mean. Walk straight in, bro. I stick that pie right in my mouth. <laughs> Just, Man, you know what I'm saying? Maybe later I'll have a plate of cookies. You know what I'm Woo! saying? Dunked in milk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> you know? They call me Austin Powers on the streets of L.A. Why? Uh... It's either because though that I'm having a lot of sex or because my teeth are fucked up. <laughs> okay, I don't know which one. I think I'm, not, I'm hoping it's the first one. I don't know, mm. but uh, I'm hungry. Are you hungry? No, I had <laughs> snacks. I ate chips. Oh, you, you saw ate me chips. You, you saw ate me chips. eating chips and cheese. Uh, you chips and cheese. Why do you want to go get a snack or something? Yeah, I do. What do you want to snack on? What are you thinking? Something, just whatever food I can find, man. Like, what do you think you're gonna find? Well, I'll just go look in the kitchen. Jackson was shopping. What do you think? I don't know. What do you like in your head? Like, what what are you hoping you find? Like cookies. There's cookies. There's cookies Hot right milk. over there. Cookies. <laughs> Hot milk. Cookies. Uh, there might be milk. There's there's lemon ups, which you still haven't even had one. Oh, okay, I'm touching those. You haven't then. even had one lemon They're up. Not even open. Did my Michael Jackson press game better? Hot milk. Cookies. Are you asking me if you're Michael Jackson? Do you think it sounds better? more like him when he's speaking? Uh, hold up. Go again. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? Hold up. I just need to. God knows in my heart how much I adore children. <laughs> but isn't that precisely the problem? <laughs> children into your bed. You never know what's going to happen. But when you say bed, think it's sexual. Think it's sexual. They make that sexual. It's not sexual. But we're going to sleep. I tuck them in. We put. I put a little like uh, music on into a little story time. I read a book. It's very sweet. We put the fireplace on. We give them hot milk. You know, we have little cookies. It's very okay. Go. But now that you've compared it directly, it's not gonna give my hot milk. Now I can't do it, dude. Come on, wait, come wait. On. Listen again. Give we're going to sleep. I tuck them in. We play, I put a little like a uh, music letter. on into a little story time. I read a book. It's very sweet. We put the fireplace on. We give them hot, hot milk. milk. You know, we, we have got cookies. cookies. It's very charming. You know, we got cookies. Give them hot milk. Wait, it's not like Trump. Trump, Trump Jackson. Give them hot milk. <laughs> cookies. <laughs> Trump Jackson. Give them hot milk. Well, isn't that cookies. precisely the problem? I Martin know. Martin Bashir, Martin Bashir, <laughs> Bashir, wherever his name is. <laughs> yep, he's he's got he got in a lot of trouble recently. For what? Uh, so you know he's very famous because he's interviewed. Uh, he's with BBC. He's interviewed. He did the Michael Jackson huge interview. He did Princess Diane, and the Princess Diane one, they found out that he had falsified documents to get that interview. Whoa! Like what? Bank statements and stuff like to like to secure the interview. Like then he how did how does he. Doesn't he work for a big program BBC, or something? Yeah. So like, how what what bank statements do they have to like fudge? Like, why are they looking at bank statements? What the fuck? I, I, it's the royal family. I'm sure that there's a big vetting the process. The royal family can go suck a giant stop, knob, stop, dude, dude. They a giant fuck. knob. You use a British word for that. <laughs> they can fuck right off, bro. The royal family, more like the royal rejects. Oh, that's a good band name. More like the royal penises. All right, man. That's a, that's a zinger. More like the royal ball sack. The, the, the royal nuts. Dude, more like the royal buttholes. The, the royal hooligans, more like. More like the royal jack-offs. Ooh. More like the 
royal frenulums. More like it's a part the, of the penis. The royal f- fudge sniffers. Oh, okay. By uh, the royal fudge packers. <laughs> okay. More like the royal Nancy family boys. <laughs> That's it. The idea of a royal family is so stupid. Yeah, because they're all stupid. And well, mean. they're inbred, but also it's like it. it, it I don't know, dude. It's just, it's just, a, it's like a weird thing where it's like holding someone else so much higher above regular people. That's there's nothing special because they're them. royalty. Okay, it's nothing they special about them. They are fucking royalty, jackass. They mean more to. Us. They're a symbol. They're a symbol. Some people get mad if you talk about the royal family. Bad, bro. Yeah, assholes. I think most people. <laughs> I think most. Dude, people. you just called all British people assholes. Yeah, good. Which I mean, is true. Not all of them, dude. I think I feel like most people in Britain don't give a shit about the royal family. Yeah, but most people in Britain have never seen a dentist. That's for much sure. like how like most people in the United States didn't love Donald Trump when he was. Born. That's not true. That is very true. It does baffle <laughs> me still, though. Technically, he got what seventy five million votes. Seventy five percent of the votes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. He's gonna be back in uh, office by August. He, he said it. <laughs> and the the my pillow guy also said that he knows that he'll be back in office by August. So. Go, ch- go fucking choke on some McNuggets, bro. S- say say goodnight, Mr. Biden. <laughs> Wishing death upon I, someone I because not... you disagree with them? I didn't. I wasn't. Choking on McNuggets, jackass? Really? <laughs> you know, man, I don't like the man, but I would never wish death on someone. I didn't wish death. I just wish that he would choke on some McNuggets. And when I said goodnight, Mr. Biden, that could have. President and Cheeto? That, that. Dude, Commander and Cheeto, <laughs> more like. Come on. Dude, uh. Baby che- hands. Cheeto, Cheeto, Christ, stupid czar <laughs> by Randy Rainbow. <laughs> Woo! Don't go off on Randy again, Sorry, dude. He's gonna have he's gonna have his people sick you. He's, he's gonna, gonna put his boomers on him. me. His boomer neoliberals on me. They're he's gonna, gonna call you a neo-Nazi and a racist. Well, apparently things are so black and white that when I thought that the video was bad, I'm all right. Is Schlatter racist? Yes. Okay. <laughs> just, make, just so you know. Yeah, someone was telling me in my ads that he's a racist. Oh, yeah. And I just had to check. I get that a lot. I get the Schlatt's a racist. I, ever, if like, I just said one thing to him, and then they said that. Oh, yeah. Like, literally, it's the exact same shit we've done. Oh. Like, no, no, really no worse than what we've done as far as I've seen. It's like him joking about, like, blackface or him, like, uh, it's literally, like, the same shit. It's like him playing uh, drawful. Yeah. And like drawing. See, this is why we need more well-mannered, middle-of-the-road type of viewpoints like Steven Crowder. <laughs> hey man yeah oh sh- what number two and I'm gonna need help wiping <sighs> let me let me get the alarm going <laughs> yep yep oh it's coming get a bucket ready. it's coming so, it's coming go. now Come get, Jackson get the toilet paper already oh shit you're gonna spill it everywhere yeah, let's, it's going let's it's coming out it's coming out right now it's coming out right now